Hello everybody and welcome back to the long dark and it is dark outside. I uh, started the game and it was just about night time so I decided to stay here sleeping a little bit at a time. <clears throat> we are quite peckish and we are a little bit thirsty so I think it's time we're gonna break into this MRE and we're gonna eat that or at least as much as we can because we need it. Mm -mm. It's kind of crunchy, but filling and good. It takes a long time to eat, too. Holy cow. And there's a little bit left over. And let's drink some water to keep our thirst quenched. And I bet the temperature in the house is a little bit chilly. Because it's early in the morning. Oh, it's not too bad. It's 36 degrees in the house. We have 13 hours of daylight left. We've survived for five hours and five days and 20 hours, so almost six days now. We everything is good. Hooray! Still no daylight out, but that's because it's early, early morning still. I think her clothes. I think after last episode, I was repairing clothes a little bit. We are not wearing some of our clothes, so we have to remember to put those on. Um, we just ate, so we might as well go ahead and wear these things, put these back on. And I can't remember what it was I repaired. Oh, I repaired my long underwear, because it was looking pretty shabby. We got a coat here. I'm going to change my pants, because these ones are in better condition. And put on our hat. There we go. And then we can leave this other pair of jeans in the dresser drawer. Gotta get things going. We're a little bit slow. A little bit laggy. But then again, the, the controls are pretty uh, touchy to begin with. So, jeans we're not wearing. Go ahead and put those in there. So we've got extra scarves, extra pair of gloves. We're okie dokie for clothes so far. Now we just need to get our shoes fixed and or find a better pair of boots. So hello Charles. How are you this morning? Good. Alright. Glad to hear it. Sounds windy out there. Might not be a good day for an adventure out of doors. Let's see how things are going down downstairs. As we turned around too far. There we go. The controls on this, I still haven't figured out what I'm doing wrong. Like I said in the past, I've tried going all the way up and all the way down, and I just, I can't get it. And now it's being a little bit laggy, so it's kind of slow and it's kind of annoying. That's just the game, I guess, right now. So... Yeah, it looks pretty dark out still. What have we got on us for food? I don't think it's very much. We've got some peaches, some condensed milk, some tea, and the rest of our MRE, and a little bit of water. Okay. Let's grab a little bit more something to eat before we head out. I guess we should check what the weather is, but let's get ourselves prepared first. Because in case the weather isn't so bad by the time we get out there. Anything in here going bad? Not really. Let's check the other drawer. Anything in here? Not really. Uh, let's search it by this. We'll go ahead and take take those sardines with us. And an energy bar. That sounds like a good deal. And to do, we don't have water in here. We've got our fish cooked up from last episode. Yum. I think we had some water in this drawer. Let's 
see if there's anything in here. We can take this candy bar and we'll take some water. Not a lot. We'll take maybe maybe that much. That looks good. Okay, so what have we got now? That looks pretty good, I think. I think we're good. Now, like I said, it sounds pretty windy out there. How are we for fiery stuff? We've got six tinder plugs. That's about it. Okay, so we're not going to go too far if the weather is nasty as it sounds. But let's uh, take a look. 13 hours of daylight left. I can see light starting to come through the windows. How is our leathers doing? We've got plenty of sticks. We should really go out and gather more wood, as much wood as we can, because that's not very much. We're burning up a lot of our woods trying to stay warm in the evenings. I think, uh, 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 uh. Okay, the guts are 50%. And this skin is 95%. Okay, and that one is 50 as well. Okay, so let's uh, make our way to the door if I can steer straight. And let's see what's going on outside for the weather. Okay, the weather does not look great. It is quite windy and snowy. Yes, indeed, I can hear the wind rustling in my ears. Surprisingly, that snow has not covered up our flare yet. I think that may be a glitch. I feel like it may be the weather is letting up. We're going to try venturing. I think we're going to go this way. We're going to head to the railroad tracks today. And we're going to try heading toward the dam. And we're going to see if we can gather some wood along the way, I guess. So we'll stick to one side of the tracks. Um, the sun should come out soon enough. How is we? It's very cold outside. Air temperature is zero. Wind chill is negative eight. So we are we are getting cold. I think we could probably put our lantern out and then go ahead and we have no matches. Holy cow. Hold on. Stop everything. We can't go anywhere without matches guys. Oh man, good thing I tried that. Whew. It's like Let's get out our matchbook. Oh wait, we don't have a matchbook. Can we? No weapons. We dropped an energy bar. I don't like that. Do not push three. We're gonna take it. Three I thought was supposed to be something in your inventory, but apparently it is drop something. Which is usually food. And I don't like that. Alright. So now we have to light this again because it's... Okay, or we'll just go through the door. I was trying to light the lamp so I can see. Okay, it's kind of dark. Let me see if I can light the lamp now. <laughs> light, light. There we go. Do we have accelerant on us, by the way? Tools, I think. No, this... No, just stuff in general. Any form of accelerant. This is confuses me that the slider bar is on this side now. I don't see any form of accelerant on us. Great. Great. Not even lantern fuel. Not even lantern fuel. Alright, let's see if we have any stuff. Blah. Where am I? Where am I? There I am. Okay. 
Let's see if we have any stashed away. The game is being kind of chuggy, a little more chuggy than normal, and I don't know why. And of course, then I have the problem with the, the controls being too, too slippery. Let's see what's in this cabinet. Uh, matches. We'll take the matches. Transfer all. The whole book. The whole kit and caboodle. We'll grab a flare in case we need it for lighting. Because I'm not seeing any accelerants. Accelerant. In here? Nope. That's the gun and ammo. Okay. Well, shoot. Guess we're going to have to find some sort of a uh, thing. And our lantern went out. Really? No fuel in the lantern. Okay, let's double check here. La 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 lantern, la 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 lantern, where are you? Here we are. Actions. We cannot refuel because we have no fuel. Okie dokie. <sighs> so much for that. Alright, well at least it's daytime now. We can switch to our matchbooks. And let's go back outside and try and find us some stuff. I think we've searched all the lake cabins and the fishing huts. I don't think stuff respawns. But we haven't been here long enough that I think it would respawn if it did. I, I don't know. If anybody knows if stuff respawns in this game, let me know. Otherwise, I'll have to search it out myself. I don't think so. I think it's pretty much, you know, like reality. Once you loot something, it's looted and you can't go get it again. Alright, let's let's focus, focus. Here we go. Okay. So hopefully the weather is kind to us. Because I, I don't want to die again. And I don't like dying. Dying's no fun. Although with the updates in the game, I don't have to worry about unlocking the other maps. Because if I die again this time, I guess I'll just go to the next map because they're all unlocked. Uh-huh. Partly because I think the game unlocked them and partly because my daughter was playing. Because now that there's multiple saves available, she's like, I'm going to unlock every map for you, ma. I went, oh, okay. <laughs> And she just like really quickly went through them all because she watches other people play. And she's like, I know how to do it all. Well, except for the last one. She hasn't figured that one out yet, but that's pretty new. I really can't see very far. So we'll just stick close to the tracks. I don't see any big downed trees nearby. Just trying to look and see if I can see any trees that would get us some wood. We're going to stick to one side of the tracks, like I said. Maybe venture off a little bit later. But nothing... Nothing too much. I think... I think things are going to be okay. The weather seems to be all fine. It's a nice light snow. Um, there's no fog. No apparent wind. Seems to be some wood up here by the derailment. Hopefully we'll be able to break that down. So let's get over here and see if we can break any of this down. The colors are so nice. Now that we have tools, of course. Before we couldn't break anything down because we didn't have the tools. Can we break this down? It's probably going to say no. Yep, nope, we can't break this down because this is our thing. Um, can we climb on it from here? Eh, no. Get out of my way, branch. Branch. Okay, let's let's try. What's that? A pry bar. All right. I think we checked this out already. There's a poor fellow in here with not much stuff. There is nothing over here. I think we already checked him. It's empty. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Ok, 
Okay, we checked all that out. We scared away a wolf. Ugh, that scared me. Wolf, I don't want you. So we have a pry bar. I don't know if we need one, but we might as well grab it. Could come in handy. And a crow's feather. Sure, we might make it bow and arrow someday. Some other one. Okay. There was it looked like there was some wood on this side, but maybe not. Not right here, but it looks like there's some over yonder here. So let's go see if we can break down this tree. Get us some firewood. This might be too big also. I think the big ones are you can't break down, but the smaller ones you can. Yeah, this is too big. Do anything with this? This? No. Okay, there's sticks over there. Is that everything that's here? Did we... we got... oh, we got a deer. It's frozen. Anything left? A little bit of meat. And a hide and some guts. Let's go ahead and get the guts. And I don't, well, we'll go ahead and get the hide, I guess, because you never know. We might decide to make ourselves a, a deer skin coat. And we'll leave, we'll leave the, the meat, because there's not really much there anyway. We got crow feathers, first aid kit we already did. Did we do the container? We did that too. Okay, flare. Might as well grab just in case we need it for light. Uh, and get a little closer, grab it. There we go. Okay. So there's some sticks over here. Guess we'll get these. I mean, it'll help a little bit. It's not like it's big fire log, but it, it, it's a little bit. A branch. Go ahead and break that down and get some sticks. Sticky stick. I've got tons of sticks back home though. I hate picking up sticks. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going, going, going. Just keep going. How are we doing for needs? We should probably take a quick drink break. Drink a little water. good deal. Hunger. Eh, we're okay. We're cold, though. So let's keep moving. Follow the wolf. The wolf knows where he's going. Okay, maybe he doesn't. Oh, the wind is picking up. Not necessarily a good thing. There goes the music. The ominous music. I feel like it's not too bad as long as we keep going. We do need to get some firewood though, and I'm not sure where we can find that. Let's go do a little jogging. Yeah, there we go. Hit the right button. Just being slow. don't see any place to get firewood. Of course, it's probably all on the other side of the railroad tracks here. Do a little more jogging. So this must be the logging thing over here. Ah, uh, and then there's a way over there. Making sure I'm not missing anything. I guess we'll head over here, see if we can get any wood to keep ourselves warm. Because I'm sure we are probably starting to get cold. So I don't think any of this wood, there's tons of wood, I don't think any of it we can break down though. I think it's just decorative. 
don't think we can break down and hopefully you can't hear that my neighbor's dog is barking because my neighbor now has a dog actually it's a new neighbor and they have a dog who likes to bark sometimes and it's it's annoying when they do it while I'm in the middle of recording but what can I do what can I do okay so do we go off that way follow the wolf Ooh, wood I think this is what I can get maybe maybe not no of course not um whoop. where are we hmm I mean I could stay here on this path the train loading area there's a body here I don't know if I went this way if I even saw this guy possibly not because I think I came out of there and I went straight the other way I have not checked this guy out so hello poor fellow what have you got for me nothing nothing at all but it looks like there's some wood over here more branches it looks like nothing major I guess we'll go ahead and grab that it's better than nothing I don't think I don't think sticks last very long and I don't know if there's any more wood going down this way this is going down to the creek there's a deer over there two deers some more sticks hmm okay not too much here let's trudge back up I really want to get out of the wind I feel the wind is starting to not be so friendly anymore so that was that poor fellow. I guess we'll head back this way to the logging camp. Just little bursts of sprinting so we don't get too worn out. Hmm. You would think, you know, like this there would be plenty of wood. I mean, I guess I'll have to go off the beat off the path to find more wood, but I don't really want to go too far off the path because I don't want to get lost because getting lost is not a good thing especially when the wind seems to be picking up so uh, keep moving don't stop just keep moving hopefully Hmm. I'm like, I hopefully I'll be able to find something, but not seeing anything yet. Great, this is a this is an event such an eventful episode. I mean I'm just wandering around in the wilderness in the blowing snow. I guess if I come over here I might get a shelter from the wind for a minute. Warm up for a second. A little wind shelter here maybe yeah a little shelter from the wind oh we are very very cold okay let's see get some have a little more food mmm crunchy goodness yum there's still some left over. Awesome. How thirsty are we? Not too terribly thirsty. We just need to go get warmed up. Otherwise, we're going to start to get hypothermia. Tough, tough, tough. We are wearing all of our clothes, I believe. Double check. Yep, all our clothes are on. Alright. Just making sure. Okay, so let's see if we can jog for a little bit. Get to the logging camp, maybe. 
There it is. It's right here. We can get in the logging camp, get a little bit of shelter. and warm up for a little while. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to make a fire because I don't think any of these have a fire space. But we will be able to get in out of the cold for a little bit and then hopefully we can gather some of this wool uh, wood. Looks like there is a wolf gnomon on a deer over yonder. Hurrah. Uh, if anything's respawned, I guess this would be it, because this is the first place we came to in the game. And there is a fire barrel in the shelled out cabin, but I kind of want to stay inside. So we'll go inside for a little bit. Maybe there's some things we missed when we were here last that we weren't able to get, to, like the pillows and the bedrolls that we couldn't break down. Um, now, the problem is we're going to have to light a match to see because it's dark in here. So I think we searched everything. Drawer, empty. Of course, we could break down some of the furniture, I guess. Use that as firewood. get some reclaimed wood. Get three out of that. One landed in the bed. Um, let's go ahead and rest for an hour just to uh, see if we can warm ourselves up a little bit. All right, so that's been an uneventful day. Let's check our status. We are much warmer now. Yay! We feel like 42. Good. It's 27 degrees in here. That's not bad. We're a little bit thirsty. So let's get some of our water. It's like you were slurping it before I told you to drink it. What, what are you doing? Okay. So we've got a little bit left over still. Okay, I think we can continue our trek, our journey, make sure we got everything. Now we could probably break down that pillow now. Pillow, we'll get two cloth, why not? It sounds like it's windy again. We're still. Hopefully you guys can all hear me because I realized my microphone was way up by my forehead because I was taking a drink while I slept. <sighs> oh well. So I don't know how much, how long reclaimed wood lasts. So it's a little bit dark in here. Let's head outside, see what it looks like out there. Okay, sounds like it's quite windy. Doesn't look like things have changed too much. That wolf is still nomming on the deer. Let's head over here. See if there's anything in here we missed, like some wood. Of course, we didn't harvest all the rose hips, so we could probably go ahead and get those. Did we. Oh, hello, hello. Did we leave any wood behind? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So we're just going to trek up here for a minute, check out the thing. Somebody was telling me they thought, okay, it was my daughter, was saying she thought she saw nothing to harvest, darn, uh, like the, what is it called, the hatch to the bunker, the secret bunker hatch. Um, in my first episode, and I never really went back and checked it out, but she's like, I saw it, Ma, I saw it. We can break this down and get some firewood. Yes! 
Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Although it looks like it's getting dark out. Hmm. Okay. What are you? Hmm. Okay. This woman's dialogue sometimes just really. I don't know. It doesn't look very pleasant out. So we're gonna head up here. Get some more wood from this. It is getting quite quite dark out. I have to admit I am not thrilled about the light out. But we're gonna get our firewood. This stuff will come in handy. Yes. It will come in handy. So I don't think there's anything up here, but you know what? Just for the heck of it, we're gonna wander around this big rock and, and take a look. I don't know why. Just because. Because it's there. And you never know. The, the secret hatch might be right behind this rock. Or I might just fall down and hurt myself. No, there's nothing here. I can't go too much farther. I was just gonna try and get up around the other side. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Okay, I think we can make it. I think we can make it. Whoa, whoa, whew. Wah. Okay, Whew. don't don't hurt yourself now. Okay, so there's nothing here. That was a fun little adventure in Nothing Land. Adventures in Nothing Land! Okay. So I don't know why it's so dark out. Except for it's just all icky. Because it says five hours of daylight left. But there are obviously storm clouds coming in. Which is not a good thing because we are here and here does not have fire inside and we don't have any fuel we do have a fire thing but we don't have any fuel fire fuel fuel stuff you know what I'm trying to say don't have a lantern yeah that's what I'm trying to say is we don't have a lantern and none of the cabins here have stoves in them or even fireplaces or fire barrels or any such sort of thing that would help us do a fire thing but besides being dark out it doesn't look too bad actually not too much wind or snow at the moment so maybe we can just head back home we did say we we're gonna get some firewood we did that we did that we got firewood and now we should probably head back I guess I don't know alright well I'm gonna head back I'm gonna cut the recording and I'll see you when I get back to the camp office so you don't have to watch me trek through the snow again and if anything exciting happens I will let you know. There are a lot of deer out here. Ah! Almost got run over by one. Okay. As I was saying, if anything exciting happens on the way back to the camp office, I will let you know. I'll see you soon. You know what? On second thought, I've decided not to run back to the camp office. Where did where'd, where'd the, where'd the logging camp go? I'm lost already. I'm lost okay there we go I'm gonna say it's a logging camp and call it an episode I'll probably end up spending the night here and that's okay I get inside and I'll be warm enough I'm actually I'm not too cold at the moment um but yeah the sky does not look good and I don't want to take the chance running back all the way back to the camp office just because the weather looks a little bit iffy you know so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna rough it. We're gonna camp out here. We're gonna make sure we have plenty of of stuff. 
and I'm gonna see you in the next episode. I bet this one will be some good. Is this a branch or a limb? It's a limb. We get firewood from that. Nice. Alright guys, thanks for watching The Long Dark. I will see you again later. And until next episode, stay awesome. Bye! Tinder plug. <laughs>